Hello and welcome to today's March 4th Daily News Report. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. You watch this channel each day because I keep you in the loop on what's really going on in Washington, D.C. with President Biden and the U.S. economy, so let's jump right in. At the end of this video, I'll tell you more about the 200 winners in the merch in the month of March giveaway that Casey and I are doing. Okay, a subscriber from California wrote yesterday in the comments that gas where she lives jumped to $5.98 a gallon in just one week. Yikes. Uh, I also saw your comments from yesterday, and it looked like the majority of you said that gas had gone up where you live, while a few of you said that it had stayed the same. I did not see any personally that said the price of gas had gone down. More and more members of Congress are telling President Biden to sanction Russia's oil or stop buying it from him altogether. They say America buying gas from Putin is financing the war against Ukraine. Jeez. <laughs> Washington, D.C. found another way to put the blame back on the American people, yet it's the government and government leaders that decide who we buy oil from, not us. Don't you just love when they blame us for their problems? Now, many Democrat lawmakers have admitted they had no clue how much oil we were buying from Russia. Right now, it's about 10% of every drop of gas in the country comes from Russia. And many Republicans are saying, listen, this is why we keep telling you to pump more oil here at home. It's to not be dependent on Russia or Putin. Now, unless Biden really wants to hurt the American people, I don't believe they will sanction Russian oil. It would make oil go to $200 a barrel or about 10 bucks a gallon. Uh, and I don't think that uh, Biden or the White House wants to do that. Many economists are saying this would cause not only a depression here at home, but could cause a global depression as a lot of the world is dependent on Russia for their oil and gas. It would be an absolute catastrophe, and it would immediately have negative effects on about half the country, which lives paycheck to paycheck. So th this is a big, big topic. Uh, but I don't, I don't believe they're going to sanction Russia. I hope, I, I hope I'm right, uh, and they don't. But anyway, this is what's in the news today. Uh, it's also been learned this week that China started quietly buying. 700,000 barrels of oil a day from Iran. So China figured out how to circumvent uh, Russia and pick up the oil they needed from Iran, which happens to be another enemy of the United States of America. Now, I saw a few lawmakers said, maybe it's time for the U.S. to look into buying oil from Iran again to help lower that cost. But continue to block them from having access to nuclear weapons. It was learned last night that Russia has gained full control of Ukraine's nuclear power plant, which is the largest nuclear power plant in Europe, as many countries uh, dropped out of the nuclear program. Now, on some good news, the IRS announced they will be hiring 10,000 new IRS agents now, if you've watched me, you know I'm against that. But for this, I actually think it's a good idea. Uh, these new agents are not being trained to audit more middle-class Americans. They are solely focused on the 24 million tax returns backlogged from 2020. So 24 million people still haven't gotten their refund from 2020. And another 140 million Americans still need to file their taxes this year. So that's what those 10,000 would be uh, hired to do. The effort is to help get through all the tax returns and get money out to people uh, so that they have access to cash right now. There are millions of people still waiting on stimulus check one, two, or three. And there are uh, close to 80 million Americans that will receive a tax refund. As of right now, the IRS is predicting that about 70% of Americans are owed money from the IRS, and these 10,000 agents will help get that money out to you faster. 
In other good news, the United States added 678,000 new jobs in February, beating the predicted number, which is good, right? Because we've been behind for several months in a, a row. So now we're beating that projection. President Biden said that this is proof the economy is recovering and proof that we will beat inflation. Senator Lindsey Graham is in hot water with Republicans and Democrats. Graham called for someone in Russia to take out Vladimir Putin. Now, I'm not I'm I'm sure that some of you have had similar thoughts, so that's not crazy, but what is crazy is a sitting US senator said out loud we need to take this guy out. That that uh, request for assassination is a provocation of war. Assassinating a G20 leader, whether you like them or not, whether they are good or bad, could be seen as a provocation of war. Uh, and, and that would be very, very bad. Uh, but it's not likely that Russia or Russians will see that because Russia yesterday banned Facebook from any access in the entire country of Russia. Putin said the level of misinformation coming out of Facebook is unbearable. Russia is also arresting journalists and protesters that write misinformation pieces. So out of caution, the BBC News Network announced it is calling all of its journalists back from Russia as they don't want any of them jailed based on what Putin says is misinformation. Regarding Biden's Build Back Better bill, many Democrats are frustrated with Joe Manchin. They say, help the party or, a, or become a Republican for once, uh, once and for all. Manchin released several ideas uh, on a new bill that I shared with you yesterday. If you didn't see that, go back and watch yesterday's daily news report. But Democrats say it isn't good enough. Biden said his bill still helps a lot of people. He said, I want to cut child tax uh, care rates in half and cap its cost to the American people to right around 7% uh, per year. This would free up a lot of money to deal with inflation. Biden said he wants to take $10 insulin that drug makers charge $300 for and cap it at $35. That would help people save a lot of money to deal with inflation. Biden said if people would just buy an electric car with the generous tax credits he's offered, it would save people $80 a month on gas. Now, he isn't wrong, uh, but he fails to mention that people still have to pay for electricity and buy an electric car, which isn't cheap. But the thing that scared me most that Biden said was, the President of the United States thinks that people spend $80 a month on putting fuel in their car. Wow. I mean, I spent over $100 just this morning on one of my cars, and it won't even last a week. So I don't think he realizes that people spend hundreds of dollars a month on gas. And with gas prices going up, they're spending maybe even $100 more, but... It's affecting everything because the price of gas makes the price of goods and services go up. As, as gas prices go up for everyone, gas prices go up on everything. And so it, it made me a little nervous to, to have him think that you're paying 80 bucks to fill your car every month. No, maybe, maybe when you were vice president, right? Now, Manchin said, let's start talking and quit fighting. The people need help, but we must tax the wealthy. They have to pay their fair share of taxes. We must spend only on programs that won't make inflation worse. However, Mark Baldwin, senior vice president for the nonpartisan committee for a responsible federal budget said, Biden isn't doing much to fight inflation. He seems to be working on helping people deal with inflation. That's scary. Uh, I don't think people need help dealing with inflation. They just need it to go away, right? Like it's hurting everyone's wallet, especially those that uh, are, are in the lower income or on fixed income. Lastly, there are two big narratives contradicting each other in the news. The Hill, CNN, and other uh, left-leaning media are saying that Biden's approval rating jumped to 47% since his State of the Union address, proving Americans liked what the president said 
and what the president plans to do. However, Nielsen's TV rating data released today uh, showing that the State of the Union had its lowest viewership in 30 years. So suddenly the country's more confident in Biden overnight because of his speech, yet it was the lowest amount of views in 30 years. Something's something's not adding up, right? So I, I just that I saw that in the news, and the two are contradicting each other. Now, regarding the Ukraine situation, Russia continues to push into the capital. Many military consultants are saying Putin moved into Ukraine slowly to allow people to escape. However, the world took this as weakness on the part of the Russian army. But now Putin will encircle Kiev and then shrink that circle until he captures the capital. The bigger, scarier part of the battle between Russia and Ukraine may not have even begun yet, according to these uh, military consultants. Now, it's not clear if Putin wants Zelensky gone or if he just wants a buffer between NATO nations and Russia. Uh, since they didn't give it to him, these military consultants say he is creating his own buffer as he attempts to overtake Ukraine. Ukraine fighters have been able to successfully block or slow the 40-mile train of Russian assault vehicles, uh, but we don't know how long that will last. Many are calling for the U.S. Uh, Air Force to create a no-fly zone over Ukraine to help but not get involved. However, military leaders are saying that is being involved and would be seen as the U.S. officially entering the war. So unless we're willing to do that, the United States cannot enforce a no-fly zone over Ukraine. I'll be on later with more details uh, updating you on that specific situation. Uh, it's been awful to watch. It's brought me no joy to report, but I know many of you uh, have found value in those shorter videos just letting you know what's going on. By the way, thank you guys so much for giving these videos a like. It's hours and hours of research to keep you in the loop each day on what's really going on. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will come on and share more with you. Uh, for the month of March, Casey and I are going to have 200 winners. You're going to get cash or a hat uh, or a shirt, and I'll make sure to leave a link down below. You can go see the details uh, but it's our merch in March giveaway, and we're excited to get that stuff out to 200 of you. Uh, and I was shocked. More of you are signing up to win a hat or shirt than cash, and that, that really surprised me. So anyway, I'll make sure to leave that link down below. Now, before you go, I want to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next video.